Right now, Atlanta public schools are getting serious about teaching kids how to read. For the first time, this is the first time ever, APS has put in place a district-wide literacy policy. Our Christy Diaz sat down with two board members who helped to create it. There's no sugarcoating the language as the Atlanta Board of Education calls out a quote long standing crisis of illiteracy in Atlanta public schools, describing it as a public health crisis at epidemic levels. I felt like we were failing our students. This illiteracy issue disproportionately affects our most disenfranchised populations and we had to call that out. The new policy is intended to correct the problem by laying out a comprehensive plan to teach all students K through 12 how to read on grade level. Last year, the state passed the Georgia Early Literacy Act, which created a literacy council and required several things like training teachers in the science of reading and structured literacy, screening children K through three and creating intervention plans for students up to third grade who need it. Atlanta Public Schools took that and went a step further. We have more needs beyond third grade. We added, you know, all grade levels, all grade levels. no matter what age a, a child is. They were inspired by neighboring districts like Marietta City Schools, where literacy rates have soared with this new research-based technique of learning to read. Under Superintendent Grant uh, Rivera, just picking his brain, <laughs> just to find out, like, what work, what did, and what are you doing? And he, he was very open with it. Recognizing the two school districts are different, they added specific things to stay true to APS values, like honoring each student's linguistic and cultural heritage and addressing equity gaps. A pilot program has already rolled out in eight schools, but this policy will take it district-wide. That was our Christy Diaz there.